What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and today we're inside of Photoshop. We are going to be recreating this arrow that I did for my website right here. You can see we've got our arrow that goes from our next page to our next. And the reason why I did it like this right here, let's go back. You can see it's transparent. You can see around it, so it's just the arrow with nothing else. So that's what we're going to be creating today. This arrow, we're also going to be showing you how to access the arrows that used to be in the older photoshops that seems to have disappeared. Actually, they have not disappeared. They're just in a hidden place. Come over here to File, choose New. We've already got the size that we want, which is right here. I want it to be transparent. It's always said it's white, so we want to always check it as transparency. We know we want to do buttons. Go ahead and click on Create. Next thing we want to do is we want to come down here to our Shape Tool. Right click on it and choose Custom Shape Tool. And then from right here, we're going to choose Window, come down to Shapes, or right over here on the right hand side, we can click on the Shapes icon right here. Now we got wild animals, leaf trees, boats, and flowers. The only thing that we see. However, there is more to this. Go ahead and click on the little hamburger right here. Come down here to Legacy, Shapes, and More. And this right here is going to give us this menu. Click on the folder. And then we're going to come down here to All Legacy Default Shapes. Click on this one and come down to Arrows. And there is our arrows. And the one that we want is this one right here. Go ahead and click and drag it on. Go ahead and bring that back in. Hold down your Alt key. And then make our arrow smaller. And we want to make it so that the arrow fits in our window like so. Go ahead and hit on Enter. And this right here is going to be our right arrow we want to go ahead and drag this down and create a new one close out of that one hold down control and then t this right here is going to bring up our transform tool hold down the alt key and we just want to simply drag it and it starts out at around 235 give or take so we want to drag it to the left and then we want to bring it back up to 235 click on enter then they should be the same and they are, so the other one is actually 233. So we're gonna hold down the Alt, and there we go. So now we should be, and there we go. We are setting at that one. So we go ahead and click on this one. That's gonna be our left key. And that is how we create them. Okay, now what we wanna do is that we want to create a bevel around here so that we can make it look identical to what I created for mine. So let's come over here, let's right click on the name, not on the image itself, but on the name, right click on it and choose blending options. And so what we wanna do is that we wanna just check a few boxes, that's all we wanna do, but you can go through and you can play around and you can design it however you want. So we got a bevel right here, so you can see as it changed to a bevel. We wanna come down here, we wanna choose our inner glow and then we come down here and we want to choose Drop Shadow. So that's the only ones that we want. So if we click on OK on this one, we come over and we add in a layer at the bottom. Click right here on our arrow. We're going to choose our Paint Tool. Just click right here and now we'll be able to see that Drop Shadow around there. Now if we come over here and we right click on the name, we can choose Copy Layer Style. And then we can right click here and choose to paste layer style and then that right there will paste our style okay and to save it we want to come down here first and uncheck our background because we do not want a background come over here to file choose export and then save for web legacy when this window dialog opens up we want to make sure that it's png-8 you're given all these other options but we want png-8 and then choose save that's all we have to do i am wayne baron this is dark Effect studios showing you how to access the hidden shapes within the new Photoshop. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.